ahead and don't be the word snow. Bikinis for you guys, but 
Just couldn't get it up, sorry guys. Uh, anyways, what's next, Brandon? Before we have our captain, my captain, hop on stage, I'd like to thank all of you guys for coming here, first of all. Uh, thanks to all the artists out there, and thanks to all the nominees, whether you're with us or not. Thanks to all of you guys for coming to the Hidden Zombie Show. Now please, give a warm welcome to O Captain, my captain. Thank you. 
The main tank flow is better, but it's deep. Just take it back. There's an ocean. It's like ocean deep. It's more like a cat in the ocean. Bye. 
Okay, so up next we're going to have a very dear friend of ours and a, uh, you know, a veteran as far as the Red Headed Zombie Show is concerned. Uh, Colin Bober, also known as the Epic Weatherman, is coming on stage. So sit tight and relax. Some of you may recognize this. What's the show? This is my rendition.
and I will let it go from here. Um, whoever's the drummer that owns this drum set, do you mind if I use it for a sec? Yeah, he's not here. He's not here? Oh, crap. Maybe I should just... I don't know. Let's sit back. Drums are like the babies, and I'm not... I'll do... Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Timmy. I played this song twice. <laughs> Actually, three times now um, in the green room back there I played it. And so we're going to hear it now. And uh, for some of us, it's the first time. For some of us, it's the second time. For some of us, it's the third. Woo!
an album out that's very good that you should all check out. It's called Too Much Time on Their Heads. Look him up. While, while you're looking me up, look him up as well. Give him equal attention because he kicks butt. But he kicks some serious anus. <laughs> that's sorry. Sometimes just roll with things and it's just, you know. Anyway, I have one more song as long as that's permitted. By... Okay. Well, Mike just said it was fine and, you know, <laughs> so that means it was fine. But I'm, I'm gonna let you choose which one it is. Okay? I can't do one notice, I don't have a record with me. Um, anyway, okay, so I have these, a choice of two songs. I do a rendition of Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. And, and also I have an original that's a little more well known called Monsters That Are Time. So, um,. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just say the names of both songs, and if whatever I feel is the, has the warmer reception, we'll get the song of choice. My cover of Dreams! Yeah. Okay, okay, he's <laughs> Um, my song, my original, Monsters That Are Time. <laughs> Either of those songs, and I'm gonna proceed to do. I'm just I'm joking. Wouldn't that just be a dick move? Anyway. Okay, no. Well. No, okay, then, um. Then Monsters Center Time it is. If you wouldn't mind cueing the second track, please. Here we go, my last song of the evening. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. 
and it, it killed the fun, you know, I'm just about to pull out the air guitar, you know. Anyways, I'm telling you guys, I'm having Wonder Man, guys. Yeah, the Wonder Man. Yeah, the Wonder Man. He makes it rain on them home. Yes, he does. He does. Thank you guys for sticking around for the very first Red Headed Zombie Awards show. It's great to see you all in here. Man, you guys are a beautiful crowd. You look a lot better if there wasn't all this fog in front of my eyes, but you look great. <laughs> it could be a song. So anyways, we've got a few musical nominees to announce here. First off being Best EP. The Best EP goes to Better Weather by Bad Max. And then I suppose the more extended version of that award, the Best Album, it goes to... Can you pronounce this one? Can you pronounce it? Anthromusicology by Grant Saban. Apparently his music has got to be on True Blood, so it's great for that guy. He's having a good week. A real good week. Yeah, I wish my music would be on a bunch of vampires. Yeah, let's see. Alright, and then the final act, or the final award <laughs> for this part of the show, is Best Live Act. This is a special one. I was really excited for this one because we've got so many great bands that know how to put on a great show and just put their energy and pour their heart and soul into it. But I think um, the winner deserved it. And when you see who the winner is, we think that you will agree. So the winner of the best live act is... Sonic Sema. Axel, <laughs> would you please join us on stage? Speaking of... Jokes. I'm really not a funny person, actually. Sense of being laughter, I love it.
lovely lady and I. We are the silent people in the brain this morning. My name is Lizzie. And I'm Katie. So if you ever seen us before and didn't know who we are, here we are. Hello. We're over at the merch table. Okay. Real quick. Um, I'm going to give a little speech um, about the brief history of the show and the flyers. A lot of you may not know this, but this, this Red-Headed Zombie show as a whole was actually only a one-time thing. We weren't supposed to go a year and a half later. And who do we think for that? You. You guys. You guys keep coming to this show and, and putting up with And you. And you. And you. And I love you. Anyways. Sorry. So, um, I'm supposed to talk about the flyers. Uh, we've had many, many flyers across the almost two years that we've done this. And we really want to thank every single artist who's ever put up art for us, including uh, Liv Elliott, wherever you are. Uh, Dan Connor. Dan Connor, anybody? There he is. And Joe Oliver. And Joe Oliver. We love you all. Anyways, Katie, take, take it. All right, our next award is going to be for Best Zombie. And the runner-up is Fear of the Living by Robert Elrod. And the winner for Best Zombie is the Dead Bang Theory by Stephen Palava. Okay, now we're going to do Best Red-Headed Zombie Flyer, which is the flyers that we use to advertise every month for the show. You guys have seen them. You're probably sick of them. This is actually the only category that we had in our whole entire contest that ended in a draw, a tie, you know? And I'm supposed to say a pun right here, so y'all, all you guys better laugh. Leave it to an artist to end up in a draw. I like that. Um, the runner-ups for this one is actually the Red-Headed Zombie Girl by Dan Connor, who's over here, who is also at his table signing prints of this particular flyer. So please, go see him. Get his autograph. He's awesome. He loves everybody, and we love him. And the second place for the runner-up was actually Red-Headed Zombie Girl by Nicole Colise, who I think is somewhere in the audience. There she is right there. Congratulations. And the winner, of course, is Dead Love by Joe Oliver, who is out in the main lobby. Please go see him. Since we're on the topic of redheaded zombies. <laughs> yeah, redheaded zombies. Alright, right, so up next we're going to have a bad night for oh, yeah. oh, one category. Oh yeah, it's alright. My bad. Redheaded zombies. Best zombie. redheaded zombie act. Alright, and the winner is, you saw him earlier, the epic weatherman!
had your loved one, your mom, your mom, your grandma, you know, and you left it. And it was okay. Not the one that got the right idea. Not sack over their face. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but I mean, to each their own.
Give it up, please. 
especially you. You guys in general just have like a really nice gene pool. Like you all descended from Italian bottles or something. Please. I descended from a bear. Did you know that? I'm a bear cub.
bring it down a notch. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
get real turned to the dead. I was sent from home, can't escape this zoo. There's a mad monkey princess who reminds me of you. With a nightmare when we walk hand in Down the yellow brick road before the shit all begins.